Witchcraft is public enemy number one. Witchcraft is public enemy number one. So the Lord must deliver me from witchcraft powers. When you are doing spiritual warfare, Numbers 23, 23, when you are doing spiritual warfare, you must aim to kill the spirit of witchcraft in the family. If you make the mistake of just killing the witch, the spirit remains in the family. The spirit remains in the family because witchcraft can be passed down. This is why when old Machembere, which is about to die, they call for the Vazuguru. Let them come and see me. They want to pass on witchcraft. You must be aware of those things. Don't be blind spiritually. The Bible says we are not ignorant of the enemy's devices. Lest Satan gains advantage over us. Numbers 23, 23, I love this scripture. It says, surely. Somebody say, surely. Please talk to me. Say, surely. Surely there's no enchantment against Jacob. All right? Neither is there any sorcery or divination against Musa. Hello? According to this time. This time. Witchcraft must come to an end. Wherever you are around the world, you are listening to this broadcast. I said witchcraft shall be no more in the name of Jesus. Here's the part I want. He says it must be said. So that's why you need to agree with me. Somebody say I must say it. So if you don't say it, they will continue. What is witchcraft? To speak against your destiny. So they speak. The primary tool of witchcraft is their mouth. So the Bible says, No weapon formed fashion against me, as I fit 4.17, shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against me in judgment, I shall condemn. So you need to condemn the tongue. So they use the tongue to bewitch. Christians, we are too quiet. Many times, thank you Holy Spirit, the enemy begins to weaken you by saying the things he says. Some of you have been threatened, open threats by witches. And you just said, ah, You must learn to speak back. When they threaten you, you tell them, as long as God is on the throne, and as long as I evangelic hosts, and as long as the blood of Jesus is still speaking, those words, Babamkuru, they fall to the ground. In because you can't be shy when it comes to witches. It's got to be radical church people, I'm telling you. Do you know why I'm saying this? Because we've been taken advantage of over the years. I have a very good heart. Anyone who really genuinely knows me, knows I'm a very nice person. Except when it comes to witches. I have zero tolerance for witches. Your amen is tired. There must be torn apart witches. He said, so it must be said, don't keep quiet. Look at your neighbor and say, under that mask, don't keep quiet. This is not a soft church. Tell them, because there are a lot of new people. Tell them, this is not a soft church. Tell them, this church is a military camp. Hallelujah. So when it came to David and Goliath, Goliath also threatened David by his God. So you must also threaten them by your God. Tell them you want to defile the armies of the living God. That, that means you are recruiting the armies. There are more that are with us. Ah, come on church. I said there are more that are with us than they that are against us. Say this time, Witchcraft powers must be annihilated, not tolerated. The devil is a liar. I said, The devil is a liar. I said, There shall be no more witchcraft. I said, There shall be no more sorcery. I said, There shall be no more enchantment. I said, There shall be no more divination. Shout no more. 
church you've got to learn to stop witches before they stop you stop witches before they stop you destroy them before they destroy you annihilate them before they annihilate you don't get me at you I mean, one scripture that changed my life, it was a game changer for me. John, John, John opened it up for me. He said, from the day of John the Baptist until now. In fact, it was Matthew. Matthew 11 verse 12. You are saying, ah, this thing, the game changed. From the day of John the Baptist until today, 2021. The kingdom suffers spiritual violence. It is the violence that take it by force. Nice people don't prosper in the kingdom. I'm talking about nice spiritually. You are not running for elections. You need to be aggressive. Hallelujah. I said you need to be aggressive. For that tender to be fulfilled, you need to be aggressive. There's Zimbabwe. Hallelujah. There's witchcraft everywhere. Every family, there's witchcraft, including yours. In fact, especially yours. The devil is a joker. Hallelujah. I said the devil is a joker. There shall be no more witchcraft. Uh, uh, the first part of my message is just called no more. Uh, uh, no more. No more divination. No more satanic control. So you have remote control. You have to have control of the people in town. You have to WhatsApp. I have to set up a higher. You have to have to but any satanic technology you could control you need to say no more and it must be said so every day you just wake up no more witchcraft no more witchcraft we don't want to tell it five minutes no more witchcraft no more witchcraft so it must be said of Jacob and of Israel oh what God has done so in other words God is going to deliver you Joshua 7 25 quickly so Joshua said why have you troubled us oh relative the Lord will trouble you this day you must learn to put a timestamp on it this day do you know why if I just do deliverance on you as in casting out a devil out of you my visa hello the reason why we keep recycling demons is because we are not dealing with the source of the demonic activity, which is the witch coven and the witches. So right now, we're going to switch our attention from dealing with you to dealing with them. Out, out this week, next week, but one. Out again. Three months from now, out again. Uh-uh, no. Witch. You are going to see fire here today. And Joshua said, Why have you troubled us? The Lord will trouble you this day. So all Israel stoned him with stones. Somebody say stones. Talk to me. Say stones. What are stones? The word of God. You need to learn to throw the word of God at the enemy. Hallelujah. You need to learn to apply the word of God over your problem. Dry bones. Listen to this. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Ezekiel 37. So you prophesy the word of God. Until you speak, you put the problem, uh, until you put the word of God on your problem, your problem remains. So you don't just say out, out. No. You, you, you apply the word of God over the problem the problem must must be annihilated by the word of god say the word of god so when you see stone in the bible it can talk of the word of god when you see rod in the bible it talks of the word of god are you getting it say i must apply the word that's why deliverance without the word of god is a waste of time because what the word does is forever so permanent deliverance is ushered in by the word of God. Say, I need the word of God. So he says, so all Israel will stone him with stones and they burnt them with fire after they had stoned them. So after you, you, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. This is so powerful. After you apply the word of God, you need to take the anointing, the fire of the Holy Spirit. In the next few days, I will teach you about a dangerous combo. I was teaching Pastor Mike Rawaya yesterday when we had a meeting. Very powerful combination of the word and the spirit. 
Hallelujah. As long as, 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 as long as you want to solve your problems, you need to use that powerful combination of the word of God and the spirit of God. There are churches that just use the spirit and they have no word. Then there are churches that have, have the word, American churches, but have no spirit. It is the combination. Listen to me. The spirit was hovering over the face of the deep, but nothing happened until the word was spoken. So there was a mixture of word and spirit, and then there were results. What am I talking about? I'm saying when you are now under an anointing and you begin to prophesy, the Bible says in Ezekiel that the spirit of the Lord came upon him, anointing. Then he began to prophesy the word. So when the anointing is there, the power, the glory, and then you apply the word, and you come Bind that to the enemy is finished. So in the midnight hour, you pray in the Holy Ghost until you feel you are on a certain frequency and the anointing of God has come upon you and when that anointing comes now then you take out the word and you begin to release the word no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper let their path be dark and slippery you don't confess those scriptures with no anointing it means you become like an American. I say that with all due respect. Hallelujah. We're just speaking the word of God. No power. No oil. Hallelujah. You must speak it with oil. When the oil comes upon you. And then you know that you use the scriptures. Whatever the problem is. There's a scripture. That's an antidote. That is in the word of God. Hallelujah. Let that system. These are midnight hour prayers. Hallelujah. Because right now, when it's midnight, they are also sending incantation. They are saying about you, Gafe, with your picture, Gafe, Gaparare, Gapeuke. Hallelujah. And then you are also under an anointing, taking the word of God and saying, No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. I cut off witchcraft. Every hand of the enemy wither in the name of Jesus. Oh, earth open up and swallow them in the mighty name of Jesus I command the sun to smite them by day and the moon to smite them by night I declare and I decree let thunder be released from the heavens Jehovah God rise up with your severe sword and deal with these enemies in the name of Jesus they may come from at me one way but they must flee seven ways in the name of Jesus arise in your anger oh Lord and scatter the enemy me. scatter the witches scatter the wizard scatter the occult in the name of Jesus my father my God how long will you look while they afflict me look I'm ten years behind you oh God I a shield about me my glory and the lifter of my head I'll rise up according to your word and release the sword of Jehovah in the name of Jesus did you not say in your word in Jeremiah 51 verse 20 I am your better with me you tear down kingdoms with me you tear down the horse and the rider with me pa -pa 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 hallelujah listen to me I have a problem with Moses type of leadership Moses he, he, I, 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 I don't know I, me, I'm a Joshua. Are you for us or against us? Exodus 4, verse 22 and 23. Your prayers must be full of the word of God. Not full of tears. So I'm going to go to the church and I'm going to go to the church. God says, let me move on to the next person. Can I pay the church? I'll come back. God is touched with your feelings but he's moved by the word. I don't just want him touched. I want him to move because he can be touched and not move. He does not respond to tears. If he did, God would be all over Africa. He's moved by his word. He respects his word. He says that you should respect my word more than even you respect me. He exalts his word even above his own name. Can you imagine? Hallelujah. Listen to how God dealt with Pharaoh. I mean, I saw this for the first time today. He says, you are sending Moses. He says, then you shall go to Pharaoh and say what? That says the Lord. Israel is my son, my firstborn. Say I'm God's son. 
talk to me. Say I'm God's son. Say I'm spiritual Israel. So you have to understand that when, when it comes to setting you free from the enemy, understand who you are and understand whose you are. I am a son of God. Right? I'm spiritual Israel. Now listen to what he said. And this is how you must deal with witches from now. Give me the next verse. He says, so I say to you, he's talking to Pharaoh, let my son go that he may build my church. So when you approach Pharaoh, watch this, you tell him that he needs to let you go for the sake of kingdom assignments. You are giving God strong reasons to set you free. Lord, I want to build you a house to your glory. So my finances are in the hands of Pharaoh. So now in the midnight, you tell the family Pharaoh, God said, let my people go that they may serve me. Right? I love this part. But if you refuse to let him go, indeed, I will kill your son, your firstborn. Why has Pharaoh not let you go? Because his firstborn is still alive. If you refuse, you are talking to the witch spiritually in your house. If you refuse to let my business go, I will destroy your business so you can release my business. If you refuse to let my wife go, I will kill your wife so you can free my wife. It's dance yet she's so judge, she's so gisto. Let my children go. If you don't let my children go, I will kill your firstborn. So God was saying, if you refuse to let go of my children, I will kill your children. You are still not getting it. You are still not getting it. You are still not getting it. This has got to be your position, Dr. Rumbi. You are a very nice person, but this has got to be the position. God said to me this morning, I've never heard this from anywhere. He said the ultimate deliverance from witchcraft comes by destruction of the enemy. He says that is the formula. That's when he led me to this scripture. Pharaoh was a witch. If Pharaoh was not a witch, why did Moses say to God, I can't go unless you go with me? Because he knew that he needs God to deal with the gods of the Egyptians. Say, Pharaoh, let my children go. If you don't let my children go, I will call on Psalm 55, verse 16, verse 15 and 16. I will cause death to seize your child. Say, Pharaoh, let my business go. If you don't let my business go, I'm coming after your business in the realm of the spirit. You see that stance? That is the stance that will lead to ultimate deliverance. Your destiny is more important than your mother and your father. Your amen is, your amen is suspect. I said your destiny. Because they've lived out their life already. You can't control my life. Outside of the word of God, I'm not interested in who you are. I must be God controlled, not parent manipulated. And, it, and, and it's all over Africa. Parents manipulating children. Chapter 1 verse 1. Listen to me. There are parents that hold children captivity. How do you know? The moment that they get married, the parent is angry. What are you angry about? What are you angry about? Should you not be happy at the wedding? What's going on? Mamachi. Is it not because your son was your spiritual husband? There are witches that bewitch children. And in the name of Jesus, those children must be set free. There is in-laws witchcraft. They are blind witches. Witches that do not know that they are blind. They are children who were forced into witchcraft. Initiated by eating. Initiated by clothes. You like things. Maybe it's because I don't it's a problem. Why should you accept clothes of a dead person? 
When you put on someone's clothes, you put on their anointing. Is it not in your Bible? Huh? Aprons from Paul. They were sent and healed the sick. Paul was not there. As it is in the positive, so it is in the negative. Your problem is Zambia. Anything you have in your house that belongs to a dead person must come out. Do you know what deceives people, men of God? And God is love. And He is love. But the same Bible says He's a man of war. <laughs> you can't use love on the battlefield. Don't get your Bible twisted. Because there are people who come and, and, and want to preach against what I'm saying. In the name of God is love. Yes, He's love. Okay, what is witchcraft? <laughs> witchcraft is manipulation. It's what? What is to manipulate? It is to control. Okay? That's witchcraft. What is witchcraft? It is to oppress. What is witchcraft? It is to curse. What is to curse? To be programmed to fail at any cost. Every curse pronounced upon you by a false prophet. Anyone under the sound of my voice who has been cursed because to bewitch is to curse, to program you to fail at any cost. What is to bewitch? It is to subdue, to subdue, it is to sabotage. So there are people who are being sabotaged like Zivai. Every effort she makes is sabotaged. Sabotaged by the enemy. You know what you want to achieve, but you're always sabotaged. What is to be which? It is to switch. Like the destiny of Max has been switched. He's living out the destiny of another relative, a failure. So a great man, his destiny was swapped, switched. That's witchcraft. What is witchcraft? It is what happened to Makusha. Exchange. Your, 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 your destiny was exchanged. In, in other words, you are living out life. But your real life, you dream about it. But there was an exchange. What is, to witchcraft? What is witchcraft? It is to bend. To bend or to divert. I listen to me. Somebody said to bend. Say to divert. In other words, you are on a course and they make you deviate from the course. That's witchcraft. To bend. What do witches do? Simba. They close doors to destiny and they open doors to pain. So which is the open doors and closed doors? Gatekeepers. Some of what you think are open doors are open gates to problems. Some of your, your problems came when a door was opened into a certain relationship. It was not opened by God. What is to be which? It is to rob. Kubirwa. There are times when you say you're supposed to get this transaction, you're supposed to get these resources, you're supposed to get this opportunity, but somehow it just slips out of your hands. You've been spiritually robbed. What is to bewitch? It is to contend. Are you telling me this kind of person should be allowed to live? You want to get married, they are contending. They are, no, you are not going to get married. What is that? Were you not married? You don't run it. Are you telling me that this is not a witch? What is to be which? It is to abort. To abort. You are on a right path. You are going to achieve great things, but it's aborted by witchcraft. Customers just change their minds. They abort it. 
some of what you call are miscarriages, uh, call miscarriages, are not miscarriages. The, those babies are spiritually aborted. You want to birth a great prophet of God, aborted by the enemy. To subvert, that means to stop a man in his course. That's witchcraft. What is witchcraft? It's to swallow. To swallow. Yes. You're not angry enough. I said, Unufa nango ne mari wewe. Doctor wewe. I go na kupara para ma five dollars kauru kita ogo. Kita hasha murume mukuru yuto a misplace of five US dollars. The whole day spoiled your whole day. Five dollars. Muna anema degree two. Maria Kamezo. You spirit of Leviathan that swallowed the wealth of God's children. In the name of Jesus, you shall form it. I said you shall form it. I said you shall form it. According to the book of Job, whatever power swallowed your wealth, I command and I demand them to form it that wealth. What is to be which? It is to put a spell. A spell. Like the one on Marshall. It's a spell. It's a spell. It's a spell. A spell weakens you. A spell. When you're under a spell, you don't think clearly. You make bad decisions. That's witchcraft. What is to be which? It is to frustrate your efforts. It's not like you're not trying. It's painful to try and to fail. That's what witchcraft does. You, 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 you tell your wife, I'm trying. You go out of the house. You go and try again. You come back with nothing. What is to be which? It is to hinder. I, even I, Paul, wanted to come to you time and again. But Satan hindered us. How does he hinder? He uses people close to you. The person who has access to your food can be used. Your food, your water, your clothes. That's why you must pay your maid well. And that's why they must be spiritually vetted before they are allowed into your house. Can I only make the impostor dismiss them today? Once, why is this number of them? Number two is once, why never is them number two? For I got a good cook. For I know because of that, for I'm a poster. Your water in the fridge, it has got additives. Listen. There's what is called the law of random sampling. Hello? If you want to know everything in the sea, you just take a sample of the water. Hello? And if you take it to a lab, they'll tell you in this water, there's this type of fish, there's this, there's that, there's this type of weeds. There's, they'll tell you it's all in the water. So imagine when they now add, take, of course, I'm not talking about this, and they put it, they add it to your water. What do you think has happened to you? Marine spirits. Marine spirits are responsible for a lot of poverty in the land. That's why my apostles are generally poor. Go and check it. What is to be which? To hinder. To block. Many of you feel you are, you are being blocked. How many can feel like that? You are trying to move forward, but it's like there's an invisible barrier. That's witchcraft. You are being blocked. If you are blocked, you can't go anywhere. What do witches do? They kill. They assign a spirit of death upon you. They steal. I know Bira. They steal your joy. They steal your peace. They steal your health. And they destroy. Witches demonize. Where do demons come from? 
Demons work for witches. The witch doesn't have to stay with you every day to make sure the zuk to zuk fire. Ah, uh-uh, I don't go see a demon ever. That's why, Zibai, when we talk, when we cast out the devil, we ask the demon, "Who are you? What does the what does the demon say? Dinitete. Huh? That means that that demon is representing the tete who sent it. Does that not make sense? Okay. So that so demons belong to witches. So witches demonize. Witches intercept. What is witchcraft? It is to scatter. What do they use to scatter? They use horns. What are these horns to do? These are the horns that scatter Judah so that no one can lift up their head. Anyone under the sound of my voice, whether you're watching live or delayed, listen to me, that horn, that horn, scattering your resources. Today, we grind that horn into powder. I said we grind that horn into powder. So which is the scatter? So no problems. Your money is not for problems. Hey, that's a revelation. I said your money is not just for problems. And they're all looking at you to buy the coffee. And what these spirits do, they are very clever. They will use you being a nice person. Do you know there are people who, who, who have, have you seen Guti Monantanga how that could first take a little open the hospital? Hello? Over attack could drain a mar. After I drain a yes, Obaf. Point of the expense your funeral. Uh-uh. <laughs> These are the horns that scatter so that no one can lift up their head. So we scatter the horns so you can lift up your head. I said we scatter the horns so you can lift up your head. Every horn of witchcraft assigned against you, we scatter in the name of Jesus. What do witches do? They want to dominate you. Say, I refuse witchcraft dominion. Say, in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, I refuse witchcraft dominion. I refuse it. I refuse it. I will not be dominated by witches and wizards. They will not dominate my life. Witchcraft dominion. We refuse. We refuse. We refuse. That's fine. We refuse. We refuse. We refuse. Witchcraft dominion. I said we refuse. Witchcraft dominion. We refuse it. Tinoramba. There's what is called witchcraft rain, not R A I N, R A E I G N, rain. That is kutongwa ne huroi, where they reign supreme over your life. Lift up your right hand to heaven. Because when they reign over you, they control everything in your life. Say witchcraft rain over my life from this day. Your reign of terror, it ends today. No more will you reign over my life. I refuse for witchcraft reign in my life. From now, as I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I reject witchcraft reign. Open your mouth and pray. The Lord is delivering you from all these things. Lord, deliver us from witchcraft. Lord, deliver us from witchcraft. Lord, deliver us from witchcraft. No more witchcraft reign. No more, no more, no more. Lift up your right hand. What is to be which? It is to bring down. Ongone Mario brought down. If you were married, are you listening to me? If you are married, 
and then you were divorced. For he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor in the eyes of the Lord. So if you get divorced, I'm saying it because we don't want it to happen again. You see? You see that spirit? That's the spirit of divorce. If you were ever divorced, come. I don't want to shame you. I want to help you. Because if a spirit is not dealt with, it will repeat itself. You can be happily married. If that spirit comes back, it will scatter the, the, the second marriage like it did the first one. Please come with an open heart. Please, I'm trying to help people. Even if you're online, kneel down there wherever you are. Don't be shy. Come and get help. Did you ever think that there's this percentage out of these people? So what do witches do? They bring down. They can bring you down by divorce. Lift up your hands. Say spirit of divorce. Spirit of retrogression. Going backwards. Today. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Burn. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. If that spirit is still operating in God's children. Right now. That spirit. If there's still an attachment to that spirit. Right now, you foul spirit, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Toba shatiba kodaba satoba haya. I said catch fire. 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 Catch fire. I said catch fire. You will never be divorced again. Affliction shall not arise a second time. Catch fire. I said catch fire. Catch fire. I said catch fire. I said catch fire. I said catch fire. I said catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. That spirit will never again rise. I'll say it a foot. Never again. Never again. Never again. Ah, Shata Mahaya. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Never again. I said never again. I said never again. I said never again. It's a spirit. 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 We destroy that spirit. We destroy that spirit. Besides, there's some guys. Besides, 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 besides. Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! You will never be divorced again. Catch fire! I said never again. Hashamaya. I said catch fire. I said catch fire. Spirit of retrogression. Catch fire. Go to Roma. Shure. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire. We increase the fire! Listen. Muna, come here. You'll often hear someone who was divorced and they remarried. They get into an argument with their new spouse. Listen to what they'll say. Divorce, I shall miss it. I was divorced before. I can divorce you as well. Is that what they really want? It's the spirit talking. Marurana. Matanga kuwaka imba enyo. Hello? Point a divorce. You split the property. Shout spirit of divorce. Listen, if, if you are married to someone who was divorced, you need to pray these prayers as well. If there's anyone who ever divorced in your family, you need to pray these prayers.
Say, spirit of divorce. I reject you now. Witchcraft powers causing divorce. Break! Break! Listen. For someone to marry you, it means they really love you. Am I right? So what causes people to divorce in the first year? First year, treated it. <laughs> now, Connie, go behind your daughter. Is it you lost your husband? And, okay. Now, if the enemy cannot cause you to divorce, he will try and kill one of you. He has still achieved the same thing. So, what happened to Connie will not happen to her daughter. How do you know the spirit is operating in your family? Just look at what's happening in your family. Stop being defensive. You, your mother and your father, that's a prayer point. You might need to fast. It's a spirit. It's not a financial problem. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. It's a spirit in your family. Say so witchcraft powers assigned to destroy my wealth. Kneel down. Today, those powers must be destroyed by the anointing that is in this house. Open your mouth and pray. Let him go. Let his wealth go. Let his wealth go. Millions and millions of dollars. They must be loosed. They must be loosed. Let him go. 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 This November is the month where they let you go. Let her go. Let her go. I said, let her go. Let her wealth go. Maria Kaganyura. Let it go. 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 Let her go. Let her go. Be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. Let her go. 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 Vasie. 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 Let her go. Let her go. Let him go. Let him go. Let her go. CIA. CIA is a business. CIA is a business. CIA is a business. CIA is That is CIA. You see, that's Rachel there. She's the mother of these two girls. Hello? Hello? She lost her husband. I want to teach you something here. She lost her husband. He died. They will not lose their husbands. Do you see that? Hello? Now, this is the Tete. Now, her brother is not here, so she will represent him. So, the spirit that killed the husband of that one will not kill her brother. It will not kill her brother. You see? You see that spirit? It will not kill him. Charorwa, Mugara Zaganak. It's still at boyfriend stage, but we are Watochi, Watopindo. What is to be which? It is to replace. Say replace. Say it again. Say replace. 
come here. Tendai, come here. When another takes your place that you know that this was my place, that's witchcraft. This is how people are replaced in marriages. Please listen to me. You can be replaced in a marriage by the enemy. You can be replaced on a job. Your name can be taken out of a tender you've won and somebody else's name is put there. Your exams, they can be a switch. Your name, you are a passer. And there's a switch of names. These things are done spiritually. Say, I will never from today be replaced for any good thing in my life. Never again will I be replaced in my rightful place. The witchcraft power that wants to replace me. Catch fire! What is witchcraft? Is to be afflicted. Say afflicted. Afflicted like, 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 like just a pain placed on you. There are people who have a side pain here. Raise your hands. Side pain. Come and kneel down here. That's an affliction. To be afflicted. It's witchcraft. Quickly come. We're about to close. Put your hand wherever you feel the pain. Stretch your other hand towards me. Say affliction. No more, Asha. Say affliction. No more. blood of Jesus wherever that pain is we release the blood of Jesus the blood Satan has no answer to the blood that affliction stops that growth melts whatever it is be it fibroids be it a lump whatever it is an evil arrow we say no more breathe in breathe out you are free what is to bewitch? It is to defile. Say defile. Say, dis say defile. When spirit husband comes to sleep with you, or spirit wife, they are coming to defile you. So you are now dirty in the realm of the spirit. That means if you are supposed to get something, I, I remember when we were kids, which prophetically means that you are not allowed to partake on the table of greatness hello why because you are dirty lift up your right hand say today, today. I, reverse I reverse any contamination of my life blood of jesus cleanse me of any contamination open your mouth and pray you are being cleansed by the blood of jesus we're almost done 10 minutes we're almost done What is to be which it is to monitor they monitor your progress lift up your right hand say any demonic monitoring over my life satanic surveillance surveilling my life today I pierce that evil eye I destroy that evil ear that is surveilling me, watching me. In the name of Jesus, I destroy satanic surveillance. Open your mouth and pray. Whoever is being watched by the enemy, no more. 
ye ke te baso tabasha tabahaya lakata labahaya ma tabaka talabahaya sete beke dibako talabahaya so tabaka sha talabahaya who are witches witches are people who are around you who pretend to love you pretenders pretenders Alexandra came in the life of Paul he pretended to be a person who wanted to be in the God's house helping the men of God every pretender in your life must be exposed I said every pretender in your life must be exposed friends that pretend to be your friends they must be exposed relatives that pretend to love you they must be exposed who is a witch a witch is a family member that sells you off at the witch coven at the witch coven they are asked tell us your family members they have to give someone are you listening to me they have to sell off someone so if 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 you have a relative who sold you off we are going to pray against that who is the person who sells you off it's judas judas he will sell you off yes he sold jesus off for 30 pieces of silver and he was also doing satanic surveillance on jesus he says the one that i kiss is the one that scripture is so profound i can teach a lot on that scripture that means that jesus you couldn't just recognize him he fit in very well he didn't try to wear a shiny suit <laughs> he had to be identified <laughs> that's another topic for another day but hear this he says the one that i kiss is the one you see that that means that you are surveilling jesus every satanic kiss the kiss of death whoever is close enough to kiss you and sell you out who is the sell off delilah is the sell off she sold off Samson's vision and destiny. After they took out Samson's eyes, she was paid. Whoever is being paid by the enemy to afflict you, they are a witch. And in the name of Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Ghost, we command destruction on them. This is the judgment we are passing on all those who are selling you off. And they let destruction come upon him unexpectedly you can use it to destroy the powers of witchcraft and let destruction come upon him unexpectedly and let his net <laughs> that he has hidden catch himself into that very destruction let him fall say unexpected destruction of witches and wizards we pronounce it in the realm of the spirit this ministry will produce results the same way people refer people to specialist doctors it's already started happening they'll be told this your problem doesn't require that soft church of yours if you want it solved permanently go to 99 parkland there's one spiritual rascal there called Chipoyer and his wife. Unapologetic about witchcraft. That's why you need to keep praying for us. Listen to what Paul said. And pray for us that we may preach the word of God with boldness. It's a very powerful scripture. Do you know what that means? That means that the enemy, he makes pastors keep quiet about certain issues. You understand? So, for me to speak over your life and confront parental witchcraft it takes boldness it takes boldness to confront bosses that are bewitching you it takes boldness to confront false prophets that bewitched you it takes boldness 